When we take MDMA, or ecstasy, this cycle is disrupted. Serotonin transporters are responsible for removing serotonin molecules from the synapse after they have done their job. MDMA mimics serotonin and is taken up by the transporter molecules. In fact, MDMA is taken up in preference to serotonin itself. This uptake of MDMA causes an increase in serotonin levels in the synapse in three ways. First, as the MDMA attaches to the transporter, it blocks the reuptake of the serotonin. Second, the MDMA causes the transporter to start working in reverse. MDMA is transported into the nerve cells and serotonin is now dragged out. And third, the MDMA now inside the nerve cell invades the vesicles and pushes more serotonin out through the nerve cell membrane. Due to these three changes, serotonin levels and the resulting firing of serotonin nerve cells are dramatically increased so the nerve cells become overstimulated. These serotonin nerve cells affect a range of processes, including mood, sleep, perception and appetite. We need to remember that MDMA also increases the release of dopamine as a reward and noradrenaline as a stimulant, though we have only focused on its primary action of increased serotonin release.